All right, back in business with a new vice grip. Um, so what I do is, here's my joint, and I've got 20 feet of the section of the pipe out of the ground. So I try to leave it at a lower working level. It throws me off a little bit because I'm used to having my pipe over here where I can rest this. So I just have to kind of, well, let me get this untaped here. I kind of have to improvise, which I hate doing for fear of running the risk that I do something a little bit differently and it fall. Okay. What happened to my tape? Bizarre. Of course, all sorts of crap goes in back down into the well from that. So I think I reach. I might try to put the jack off this. Seems to be tight. Of course, another cheap tool. Sorry, Husky. So I try to be as repetitious as possible. Maybe that's just superstition. But then now what I'll do, we'll test this. I'll re-put my chain down underneath this joint and see if we can't get that loosened. So once again, as I loosen, I watch for the pipe slipping. Not that I could catch it. I try to be somewhat fast about this part. All right, so I got these lowered, these vice grips, and below my joint, I've jacked this up just enough to put a little pressure on it, leaving uh, kind of my backup uh, pipe wrench down there. So I, I loosen my joint. As I get that loose, I'm gonna take this off just so there's no possibility of it falling down in the well. And I'd probably be more gentle with these pipes if I was going to reuse them. Not that I think you can hurt them, but I don't intend on putting these back down in. So when I get it kind of close, I just keep loosening with the game plan of throwing it off in the same direction every time and I do realize that if you had better equipment you could do a lot better and quicker of a job but I don't have it this is just trying to show you that you can do it without and that leads me down to 80 more feet four more pieces to pull out I'll show you when I get the pump out I'm not gonna show you bringing up every single pipe Every single section is exactly the same way. Um, so four more of these, and then I'll show you 
the pump out. Unless I'm in for a surprise. I'm told it's 400 feet. I probably would uh, lose it if I found it is 950 feet or something. So I'll check in in a bit. All right, got the pump out. It actually ended up being 360 feet of pipe. And not sure the actual state of the pump. Like I said, it just quit working. But when we pulled it up, the pump, the threaded part of the pipe is still in here and this was broken. And you can tell it's been broken for some time. Uh, and this was just basically held on by these wires taped to the rest of the pipe. It's not bringing it up that broke it. It was already pre-broke. I'm thinking, because when these pumps start, there's a lot of twist force on it. And I'm thinking just with a weak pipe, it cracked around here. It wasn't completely broken off, but I'd say about half of it was broke. And it's just barely hanging on there. So, good pump, bad pump, I have no clue. It's literally clogged full of crap up in here. Probably can't see it, but... So stuff's been getting in there for quite some time, I think. Either way, you go through all this work, I don't think I'd even consider putting a, a used pump back down. I'm just trying to talk myself into reusing the wire as it is. So, that's it for now.